Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you again if you're returning and if you're new. Hi, I'm Amanda. Nice to meet you. I wanted to start this video off by saying thank you so, so much for 2,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. We just hit 1,000 subscribers like two days ago and then the next day we hit 2,000, which is insane. It just really makes me super excited to see that there are people out there who want to see and view my content that I've been making because I really like creating things and recording and yeah it just makes me really happy and I'm really thankful so I wanted to start this off by saying thank you to you guys and if you are new please make sure that you do subscribe so we can keep growing this community and I can keep creating fun content for you guys this video I'm going to be showing you how to get this natural glowy everyday makeup look that I've been loving so let's get into this makeup routine hi guys first let's start off with my skincare before I do my makeup I really like to make sure that I have a nice moisturized base so let's get into that I take three pumps of my snail mucin and I kind of just rub it together and then I'll just rub it in all over my face and I'll rub it down my neck as well. It really makes your skin super glowy and hydrated, which I really like. And I know some people were commenting on one of my last video that I should do it with wet skin and I'm sure that that can work, but I like doing it on dry skin, so I'm gonna just keep doing that. The next product that I'm gonna use is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I've really been liking this brand a lot, so as you're gonna see, a lot of my products are from there. And this brand is really, really affordable. Like this serum is $6, my sunscreen is like 10 or 12. I like these products more than the ordinary and their similar price point. And they're honestly a little bit less expensive than the ordinary, which I also like. And I'll just tap this in all throughout my skin and down my neck again. Next, I just take bio oil and I just put a little bit on my finger like this. So it's just a little wet. And I'll just tap it in any spots where I have dark spots. So here, and I've been doing this, I'd say the past week, cause I just found this in my skincare drawer and I forgot I had it. And I think it's really been helping with healing my acne scars. And just tap it in and I've even been putting it here like where I have random redness I kind of just put it anywhere that looks like it needs some moisture or balancing of my skin tone just tap that in everywhere now I'll go in with my moisturizer and I just do a line down my finger this is how much that I'll do for my whole face just like this and then I'll just take it and rub it all over my face and also down my neck again. This is my last step that I do and I recently started incorporating sunscreen into my daily routine. I was kind of slacking for a while um, but now I use sunscreen every single day. I do the same little finger thing. This one I do two chunks of my finger and then I'll just do the same thing I did with the moisturizer. Just rub it everywhere. And this sunscreen is really nice. It does not leave a white cast once it's all like blended in. And it doesn't smell like your stereotypical sunscreen either that has that very potent smell and makes you super greasy. This one does not do that, which I really like. I've been wanting to try the Supergoop one, but it's like $40. 
and I just, the bottle's like this big. I don't know, I just do not have the funds for that right now. So this one is doing perfectly just as fine. Here is my face with all the skincare on. Now that my face is nice and moisturized, let's get started with my makeup. First, I'm gonna start off by doing my mascara. I use the Maybelline New York Last Sensational in Waterproof. And then this is just the e.l.f. eyelash curler. If anyone has a better eyelash curler that they use that they really like, please let me know because I've been wanting to try out a new one. Now I've got a bit of mascara on my eyelid, so I'll just take this Micellar Water by Garnier and a little Q-tip and I'll just wipe everything off. Now we're going to move on to my eyebrows. Sometimes I'll fill them in, but today I think we're just going to do gel in them and keep it nice and simple, very natural looking today. For my brows, I just used the Got To Be Glued Hair Gel. This is just the mini version. It's like $3 at Ulta and a spoolie. This is just a spoolie that I got at Ulta or Sephora. Just, you know, they have all the little testers. And I'm almost out of this. I need to pick up a new one. But I just squeeze and get a little dab. You don't need a lot because it's pretty strong. There it is. And I'll just brush it through my eyebrows. And this stuff will lock your brows in place all day. You will not need to touch them up. They will not move. And they will not get crusty with white flakes. As long as you don't try to go back in and add more. Like you're one and done. Okay, I think this looks good. If there's excess glue, that kind of goes around my eyebrows. When I put on my foundation or anything like that, it will kind of, it won't sit properly. So I am gonna just take a little towel and I'll just wipe around my eyebrows to make sure there's no extra glue. This is one of my absolute favorite products, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. And this is the shade One Fair. And I really like this. I think this is their lightest shade, which is still, it looks a little darker than me, but once it's on, it's like, it just blends out. It's really sheer. It just makes your skin super glowy. I have, I think, shade three, and I use that one during the summer. But yeah. Also, I know the lid looks different because I broke off the outer shell. So this is what it looks like underneath, in case you're ever wondering. So I'll just put this all over my face. Now I'll just blend this in with my beauty blender. This is the Sonia K beauty blender. They sell them at Target, I got it for Christmas. Um, yeah, I'll just use this or you can use a brush. I go back and forth depending on the day, but today I'm just feeling nice and easy. I'm going to go in with my bronzer and I'm just going to take it and warm it up on my hand so that way the product goes on my face a lot smoother. And then I'm just going to use this sculpting brush by Real Techniques and I'll just dab a little bit here and then I'll place it here. So my cheekbone is here so I place it slightly above and then same on this side. And whenever you put bronzer or contour on your jawline, you don't want it to be on the top. Like you don't want to be able to see it up here. It's just supposed to be like a shadow underneath. So if it kind of comes up, if you accidentally put it too high, just blend it out like there. So you see that's too high. So just blend it till you can't see it. Just 
just gives my skin a bit more of a sun-kissed look, a little bit more bronzed, especially in the winter when I'm extremely pale right now. I just use basically whatever's on my hand. I usually don't need to go in for extra. Okay, this is what the skin looks like so far. I just washed the excess off. Now let's get into concealer. For these two concealers, I'm going to use this one under my eyes first, and then I'll go back in with this one a little bit, because this is a bit more full coverage. But this one, I like to put on my spots that I have. Now I'm just gonna go in and blend them out. As you can see, it matches my skin really well, which is always a very hard thing to find for some reason. A lot of my concealers either looked yellow under my eyes or too white where they look kind of gray. I finally found some that match me pretty well, I think. And whenever I do my concealer here, I kind of like to pull it outward to help lift the face. So here is the concealer. I'm going to go in with the hourglass one just a tiny bit so it can have just a little bit more coverage under my eyes. I kind of put it where there's the natural hollow in my eye. And whenever I blend this, I'm not gonna put it all the way up into all the deep creases under my eyes because I've realized if I do that, my eyes are gonna crease a lot more. If you see right there, I have a pretty deep crease, but that's just how my eyes fold. And of course, since the way my eye is structured and it has those natural creases there, the makeup isn't going to get rid of those creases. Like you can make it look smoother and you can remove your dark circles, but you can't get rid of the natural folds of your eye. So in order to make it not look as drastic, I keep the thicker concealers lower and then my thinner ones I'll have up where all the folds are. So as I blended it out, I did not bring it all the way up right under my lashes. Here it is. We're looking really, really glowy, but we will use a little bit of powder in a moment. Now we're going to go in with my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This is the shade Hope. I've got three of the colors from um, her blushes, and I love them. I have Joy, which is more orangey, and Happy, which is um, a hot pink, and I really like them especially the other two during the summer. And I like this one. It's a little bit more of a blush muted pink for the winter. I feel like it just matches my fair complexion right now really well. And during the summer, I like a bit more of a vibrant blush since my skin is going to be a bit darker due to being out in the sun. Whenever I blend out my blush, I keep it right here. I don't go below my nose. So this is where my nose stops. So I don't want my blush dragging down. I want my blush to be lifting my face up. So I'll keep it right here, kind of on top of my cheek. Same thing on this side. Keep it above the nose. Cute. 
this one might be a little bit hard to see she has been through it but this is the glowgasm by charlotte tilbury in the color pinkgasm yeah i've had her for a while and she's lasted a long time i think i've had her for over a year now um yeah so i'll just dot her on she's a similar pinky color but this one has a bit more of a reflective glow and we'll just put her there and then blend her out the same way as the previous one Now I'm going to go in with my one size translucent setting powder and my e.l.f. powder puff. And as you can see, I'm pretty shiny here and here. And that's pretty much the only place I'll put the powder. I'll put it in the middle of my forehead also because I covered up a few spots there. So I want to set that concealer in place. I'll put it on my chin just because it seems to get a little oilier and shiny there throughout the day. And then a little bit under my eyes and right here. So in my T-zone. So I'll just get a tiny bit of powder on the puff and then I'll go like this on my hand so we can evenly distribute the powder onto the puff. So it's all kind of pressed in so it's even. For under my eyes, I'm going to now pick up my sponge and then I will re-blend in on my eye. And we're only going to do one eye at a time because we are trying to prevent um, extra creasing from the setting. Take the powder puff that's already been loaded up with the powder and then I just lightly tap her in and then we'll go down here a little. So as you can see, this is this side now. There's still some glow, but it doesn't look as kind of oily as this side. And I would say that it's pretty smooth as well. So now we'll do the same on this side. Blend her in a little extra, dab off excess powder. There she is. And there's still like a little bit of a glow underneath, which I like. It's not like my face is completely matte because I'm definitely more of a glowy makeup look girl. Other places need a little powder, I'll do the same thing. So we'll just go in on my forehead. And then on my chin, around my nose, kind of just the excess powder, like that. For my powder bronzer, I'm gonna just go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. And then I just take this big Real Techniques brush, it is called the powder brush, and I just kind of lightly dust powder bronzer all around the corners of my face. So we'll go under the chin and down the neck a little bit to try to blend everything in. And then right under my cheekbone as well. I don't really use too much bronzer just because it kind of doesn't blend the best right now since my complexion is a little fairer, but I feel like it does even everything out just with all of the liquid products underneath it's good to set it with a powder product for blush i'm going to use two different blushes first we'll go in with this Too faced blush this packaging is so cute look at this heart <laughs> so cute oh <laughs> um i believe this is candy clouds so this one is kind of more of a matte blush there's not much shimmer but i'll just kind of place a little bit because i just love the color and then we're gonna go in with the nars orgasm blush after because it has a bit more of shine you can see it just adds a nice little pinky touch to the face this blush as you can see it has a bit more sparkle and shine 
So I like using this one because it kind of blends in the highlighter that I'm going to use so everything looks a bit more seamless. And I also, I just like glow. I like shine. I feel like it makes my skin look healthy. Cute. Mm, hey. <laughs> but this Rare Beauty blush is so beautiful. Like look at just the shine in the pan. This is the shade Mesmerize and I really, really love it. I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques 448 brush and I just dab a little bit in and then right here is like, look how it's just so glowy and beautiful, but it doesn't look like glitter on my face. It looks just like my face is super naturally glowy and that like glow from within type of vibe and I love that and I also put it under my eyes like or on my eyelids under my eyebrows and then I pinch the brush and I'll go like this on my nose and then down the bridge of my nose oh I forgot I forgot my nose contour that's okay, we'll just go back and do it now. So this is the Real Techniques 243 brush, and I just take the same Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I will just kind of go down one side of my nose, then go down the other side. And I don't really do this to change the shape of my nose, but I feel like having a little bit of the bronzer in the middle of my nose kind of evens out the color, so since the bronzer is on the sides of my face and now there's a little bit in the middle it just i feel like it looks nice i like how it looks so that's why i do it um yeah and then i take a little bit and i will go right here on my eyelid and just pull it outward like so also just trying to make my eyes look more snatched i used to spray my setting spray just all over my face and i use this one by elf the stay all night micro fine setting mist but i realized i feel like it kind of messes with my eyelashes even though they're waterproof so what i've been doing is i'll spray this all over my beauty blender and then i'll just dab in so spray 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 and then I'll just dab it in all over and I feel like this helps lock it in without messing with my mascara because I feel like right now it looks nice and lifted and light and if I were to spray it that liquid is going to get on my mascara and make it get droopy throughout the day so I recently started doing that now the last thing is lips this is my absolute favorite lip product this is the clinique in black honey i just bought a new one yesterday because i fully use my old one and you're like that looks really dark but so this is my lips now i'll show you guys on like one side isn't that cute it's like your lip, but a little bit darker, or my lip at least. Especially on my no makeup makeup days, this is just so nice because maybe my lips are super pale because I just woke up. And this helps put a nice little flush of color in. So I'll either leave it like that and put Aquaphor on top or I'll go in with a lip oil. Today we're gonna do a lip oil for now and then later I'll probably put on Aquaphor. But this is the Dior Glow Lip Oil in Rosewood and I'm almost out. I'm so sad because this is expensive and I, like I said, we're running low on funds right now because I'm saving to buy a new computer because I want to start editing things on a computer so yeah so i'm saving money 
because right now I edit everything on my phone for YouTube and everything like that. So this is the applicator, so fluffy, so fat, I love it. Gorgeous, it's my final makeup look. I feel like everything blends really well together and I like the kind of orangey pink tones with my eyes. I feel like it helps them pop more. This is the final look. I hope that you guys like it. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. And if there's anything else that you guys would like me to go into detail on, I will work on recording that for you soon. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you again so much for 2,000 subscribers. It really means a lot. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.